All right, today we are going to shoot 357 Magnum in a 38 pistol. Yes, we are. Now this is my Rock Island Armory, model 206 in caliber 38 special. 357 Magnum Winchester. There we go, finally got it to focus. 357 Magnum. All right, what I've got here, I've got six rounds. Okay, says 357 Magnums. Put them in my 38 special. And guess what? They fit. No issues. See what kind of a group I can do at seven yards. All. all right six shots no issues now how did that work well I'm gonna show you I'm gonna load this back up now these are not 357 Magnum rounds even though the case says 357 Magnum what I've done is trim these cases down to 1.55 inches and made 38 special rounds from old 357 Magnum brass I'll show you the steps that I used to do that but as you can see, shoots, shoots just fine. So the silver looking one is an aluminum case 38 special. The brass one is a brass case 357 Magnum see the head stamps so what I'm gonna do now is trim down this 357 Magnum to the length of a 38 special I've already pre-measured this and when this bumps up and quits cutting it will be the right length 1.155 inches. It's just trimming that extra brass off. It's getting closer and closer to stopping. Yes, I think I'll put a drill motor on this. Because somebody gave me a lot of 357 brass. I don't even have a 357 magnet. But I have a 38 special and I have no 38 brass. Now just need to chamfer the ends, size it, and reload it. Now I'll take this chamfering tool and clean up this brass. That's pretty good. So the next thing I'm going to do is put some sizing lube on this case. Put it in the press and push it through a sizing die for 38 special. Now it's a 38 special case with the 357 Magnum head stamp. Let's see that again. So now switch the die out with a depriming and neck sizing die. Pushes the old spent primer out, expands the neck, ready for a bullet. 
Okay, I'm not going to treat this as a reloading video, so I'll stop right there. I'm not going to add the powder, primer, bullet. Everybody knows how to do that. That is a reloader. You should not be attempting this if you don't have reloading equipment and know a little bit about reloading. So what I will do now is give you a few cautions. I wouldn't try this if you shoot both 38 and 357 and reload. The reason why, if you take this round that's now loaded as a 38 because of the case length and then you load it with the powder of a 357 magnum you could have overpressuring in your cases so this is kind of a trial just to see if it would work and it works great there's some discussion on uh, internet forums out there does this work does it not work well it absolutely works I've shot hundreds of rounds this way using 357 magnum brass and loading it for 38 so this should put down the question does it work or not yes it works great now don't load the shorter case with loads of 357 magnum or you may have trouble there are some people that use 357 short or something like a 357 short where they make a more compact round with 357 charges in it I'm not an expert on that I can't tell you if it's safe or not but I've heard of it being done I just would not recommend it load for 38 shoot in a 38 and be careful of your case sizes when shooting in a 357 Magnum. Now if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications. Share our videos on Facebook, YouTube, wherever you'd like to do it. We appreciate the help.